Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to create the fake REST API. Okay. So, so in our previous video, we have seen a couple of websites uh, where it is, uh, you have open uh, fake free REST APIs are available. By using that, you can do your practice. Okay. Uh, and you can make your request with that those like we have seen around like four to five websites and we have seen the mock api where you can create your own api by using your resources okay so there is one more options available uh, where you can go for this json server npm okay so if you go to this json server npm you can see get full fake uh, rest api with zero coding in less than 30 seconds okay and this is a dependency or uh, this one is it's a kind of like a library which is available on the npm this is node package module uh, this library is written on the node.js okay so if you want to install this uh, make sure you have installed the node.js okay so if you type like a node hyphen v so you will be getting the node.js version that you have installed on your laptop okay so once you install the Node.js, you can go to Node.js website and you can directly download the installer file and you can install uh, according to your operating system. So after that, what you can do? So we have to install this JSON server. Okay, the command is npm install, npm is node package module and hyphen g in the sense global. Okay, so this dependency will be installed as a global level in your laptop. Okay, so if you don't want to install, then you can, I mean, you can skip this hyphen g and you can install this dependency in the particular working directory. Okay, so now I'm I want to use this as a my global level. So I'm just copy paste, and when you click on the enter, so the installation will start now. So once this installation is done, so we can go to the website. So what they have instruction they given. So getting started, install the JSON server dependency. After that, you have to create one JSON file. Okay, so let me create one JSON file. Okay, so this is my JSON file. So I have to define this JSON objects here. Okay, so let's create some JSON objects. Users, or we can go for a testers. Okay, so in the testers, we are going to add multiple tester inside this array. Okay, inside this object, we are going to add. So this is a plain JSON. So after we are adding the test users, so I mean, after adding the records to the database, so here you can see that list of testers that being added to our database. Okay, so I mean, forgot about database and server everything. So just we are going to create one JSON file. I'm going to save this as, so I'm putting in the desktop. Uh, let me create a new folder here with Postman tutorial okay so tutorials so inside this i'm going to store this uh, for example data dot json file okay so all files so data dot json okay i got saved this file to my particular working directory folder so let me open this file so in this desktop under postman tutorials, I have this file. Okay. So let me close this file. So we have done this second step also. Okay. So the next one, we have to start the JSON server. Okay. So what you have to do, if you want to start the JSON server, so you have to give the JSON server command. Additionally, you have to provide your file path of JSON. Okay. So where is our file? Our file is here. Okay. Under this postman tutorial. So directly I can go to this terminal. Otherwise, no, you have to use a particular file location of this file to launch server. Okay. So just go to this particular file, uh, particular folder where you have installed your, I mean, where you have your JSON file. Okay. So JSON hyphen server. And you can use hyphen hyphen watch or directly you can use like this. So my file name is data.json. So after clicking on the enter, you can see. So now if you go to this localhost 3000 post, I mean, 3000 is a base URL. So our server is started in the, this is our home, which is my base URL, okay? And this is my resource because I have given in the, in the, in the JSON file. So I have given this one as a tester, right? Testers. So that's the reason this resource is coming like this. So now this is our base resources. 
I mean base URL. Okay. So till 3000 is a base URL and the tester is path. So what I can do, I can simply copy this. Now I can go to the get method or you can go for a browser also. Okay, if you just open this browser and if you just paste this command, I mean paste this endpoint, you can see there is nothing, right? Under the tester, we don't have any users. We are going to add the user to the database, okay? So now how this is acting in the sense, so let us assume this database uh, is a JSON file, okay? And it is going to communicate with our local host server. Okay, now our laptop will act as a server and this one, this JSON file will act as a database, okay? So if you scroll down here, if you, if you read this, uh, some comments they have given, some instructions. If you make post, put, pass, delete, call, and all, no, you can automatically get save the data to the db.json file, which is our JSON file, using the low DB. Okay, so low DB is another, I mean, one more library. So if you go to here, this is a GitHub page of low DB that has a feature of storing our data to database. So they have used this concept, I mean, this library to store our data. Okay. And your request body JSON should be enclosed with the object. Yeah, this is ob obviously we have to go with the object enclosed. So this is how the data format will look for JSON, which is key pair value. Okay. And there are some ID values, which is not mutable. So either you can override them by sending your own ID. Otherwise, no, it will create some random ID for your request. Okay. It is not random ID. It will go by the sequence order one, two, three, four. Okay. So now uh, if you go here and if you create one request, so this is a get method. And when I click on the send button here, so now as of today, I mean, now we don't have any request. I mean, we don't have any data in the database, right? Basically in the notepad file. So now you can see the server, all the entries or all the actions that you have, I mean, how many times that if you call for any endpoint. So, so two times we have uh, hit on the endpoint, right? One time we have tried from the browser and one time we have tried from the postman. Okay, so that's the reason it stores two entries. So this is how we can create. So the pre-request this is, you must have Node.js installed. After Node.js installations, you have to install this dependency. After that, you have to create one db.json file. So by going to that particular directory of uh, this JSON file, you can start the server by using this command, okay? By default, it will open in the 3000 port. So we can, if you want to change the port already, if you are running something on the 3000 port, you can change them. Okay, so that command also I will tell you now. So now the server is running. So what you can do now, if you close this window and if you go to Postman and if you send this request, no, this will not work because our database is closed. It means our server is closed, not database, our server is closed, right? So this connection is getting established through our server, which is our local laptop, and it is connecting to our database file, which is JSON file. Okay, so since we close the network, I mean, we close the server, you can see, this, I mean, the request you are not able to do, okay? So now, again, we'll go to the same folder. So this is a folder where I have my JSON file. So now, this was starting by default in the server, I mean, port number 3000, right? So let, for example, if, if the server is busy and you, you are running something else, so what you can do now, you can provide like this, data.json and hyphen hyphen port number. For example, I'm going to launch in uh, 3001. Okay, so when you do like this, so now the port number will be changed to 3001. So now I can go to the postman, instead of 3000, I can make it as a 1001. Okay, so if I send this request, it is coming as a 200, okay, which means I'm able to access, right? The relevant entry also will be placed in the server. Okay, so this is how we can create our local database by using this uh, NPM JSON server library. So with this, uh, we will uh, create the records, we can modify them, right? So here you can see get method, post, put, pass, delete, everything you can do that, okay? So this is one of the best library, which where you can uh, kind of like a more real-time examples, you can go for it, okay? So, I mean, in upcoming video, so we are going to use this one, you can see, to change the alternative port. So there are a lot of options are available. So you can use this. In our upcoming videos, we can see how to make the request with, with creating some records and doing the things. Okay, Thank you, guys. So that's all about this video. I think the video will be helpful.
Okay, so with this, uh, we will see that in the upcoming video, we can see uh, how to create the post method and how to do the update patch and all one by one. Okay, so that's all about this video. Thank you, guys.